Hey, what's up guys, it's Nemo, and uh, today I would like to quickly show you a little uh, trick that you can do on your touchpad in order to get your USB sticks working. So memory cards or anything that you plug into your USB, uh, mini USB here, uh, to get it working. Because usually, if you try, it's not going to work, and uh, you can try whatever different devices or adapters, but it's not going to work the, the normal way. So let me quickly show you. So first of all, let me start off by uh, showing you guys that I'm using on the touchpad the um, the latest uh, Cyanogen Mod Android KitKat 4.4.4 and um, it's been running on since I had it uh, very stable. Uh, I didn't have any issues or anything or any problems with it. So I'm quite happy with it and I recommend you guys to also um, get that build. I will put a, a link down below in the description section of, the, of this video for you guys to get more information and download that. So first off, let me show you that the storage device on this has been increased due to the repartition on the um, WebOS side of it. And as you can see here, I've only got 2 gig of WebOS space and the rest of it has been allocated to Android, which is brilliant. And um, for what I would like to do. Uh, now as you see there's USB storage device so if I try to plug a USB device now so let's see if I take one of those um, memory cards uh, this is a 8 gigabyte one and um, if uh, you know it's it should be fine it should be working and uh, it shouldn't pose me any problem but as you will see it's not gonna allow me to do so so I'll uh, just plug the USB key uh, into the adapter to a mini USB uh, micro USB more like sorry and if I plug it in it's not helping at all it doesn't show any uh, any picking up of SD cards or, or anything as such and as you see here as well there is there is no USB uh, section unfortunately alright so I'll uh, I'll show you now how to do it and uh, the hardware pieces and cables that you basically need. So let me put the touchpad on one side. So first off you will need one of these. So a micro USB to uh, U mini, I'm sorry, female USB adapter. You can use that and I fairly recommend to use that instead of having the solid ones that you can plug in and that might just stay for long uh, uh, straight and when you want to basically bend it you might, you might damage it. So I recommend to get it that uh, sort of cable so it, you know, doing any movement at the bottom will not damage the main part of it. If you damage that, then you're pretty messed up. Right, so one of these. Um, then uh, you need an extension, and this is really important to get it working. And I found that without this cable, it's not going to work. And um, I think this is the repetition of the powers and, and everything else that goes with it. So make sure you get a, a USB to uh, a, a female USB extension cable that you're going to hook up to this basically and the third part which is very very uh, important is this three-way cable so by three-way cable I mean this basically so you have the uh, male on one side then the male on uh, the other side and on one side of the cable there's a female part so this is what you need to get things working so one is going to be basically going into that device here and the second one is going to be going into your power socket it could be a laptop uh, PC, any kind of USB power socket, and also uh, something else that I will show you a little bit, which will come handy in uh, in this in this um, scenario. So let me get these cables plugged in. The cable might be a bit long, but you know uh, you can find shorter cables, and uh, you don't really need to to go the extreme way but uh, this is how it works so I'm just going to plug this uh, into my uh, laptop to get the power coming in and uh, on one side I will now basically plug into the USB on the touchpad and uh, at the moment there is nothing plugged in here okay so now if I try to plug a USB in here you're gonna immediately see that it's picking up the uh, the USB so it's simulating the SD uh, hard drive and if we go now to settings you will see that the USB section of it in the storage side of it will be populated so it's an 8 gigabyte USB that I've just plugged in and I will just uh, 
and I will I will not unmount it now, but I'll show you in the file explorer and uh, that the USB has now been picked up. Uh, to this, you'll have to say you can say okay, but I'll just say cancel. Uh, so this is basically uh, back to the USB, uh, and I'll use this one instead, so you can see. And also the new um, the new 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 uh, Android uh, KitKat allows to have a file over four gigabytes. So you got the hard drive which is over um, I don't know four eight gigabyte twelve thirty I mean. 16, 32 gigabyte. I've tried up to 32 gigabyte and it seems to be working fine. So if you guys find different um, manufacturers or uh, hard drive devices that are over 32 gigabyte and they are working in the method I've just shown you, please comment in the description below uh, for others and myself to uh, test it and, and enjoy it. So yes, yeah, so file over 4 gigabytes are now supported in this Android uh, 4.4 KitKat build. Uh, so it's amazing and it's very useful if you have movies of a certain size, of a 4 gigabyte size. Right, so I've got one plugged in here and the safest way to remove that USB will be to go into settings and um, and mount it. You might have problems with it if you don't actually do it that way. So I will go back uh, into the touchpad and quickly unmount that. Uh, it's just to be safe uh, that the device is not going to get corrupted or any kind of way. So, uh, amount SD. If you only want to amount it, SD card will be uh, unmounted. Right, so I think that's fine to remove it. So, if I just remove that with one hand, and I will plug the 32 gig just to show you that you know the light is flashing it's kicking in and uh, the same thing as well I mean uh, you know you will have the size showing up in the uh, um, storage section of your touchpad you see that's the 32 gigabyte I've got in there and in file explorer you'll be able to basically see your files you can open them you can play the movies and everything else just for the copyright sake of it I'm not going to play anything on there and uh, you will see that um, uh, where is it? Uh, okay, USB storage, and these are my files. So all the files that I have on my USB stick here are being populated and shown there. Great. Uh, so that's that was the the way to do it with the. Um, cable connected to a laptop or to uh, a power supply, USB power supply. The other way to do that, and I will remove the USB key from the laptop, uh, is to use one of the one of these, uh, an emergency charger. So it's basically this device, what is purpose to do is to charge or to give power to the devices, to the USB devices connected to that. So in this case, this one has a little light, which is useful, I guess, and USB sites, which will give the power to the device which is connected to. So if I now do the same thing, instead of plugging the device to the USB of the laptop, I will plug it in the uh, in this device and I will uh, switch it on. And as, as soon as I will switch it on, you will see that the, um, the light of the device is on, but also now it's going to basically pick up the uh, hard drive, which is connected to that. So all those cables are now uniquely connected to it. So as you see it's coming from there, going that way and there. So there's no other connections to it and it's pretty huge cabling there to get it working but that's the solution there. If you find something else better guys just let me know as, uh, as always. And uh, you can browse the files as, as I showed you before. Uh, you can access all the files, you can play movies, watch your clips, uh, videos and pictures and whatnot and everything else is still there and you will still you know you will still show it in the um, uh, partition not button sorry storage side and you will you will still show it there okay so that's one way to plug your USBs uh, and uh, one neat thing as well let's say you know you've been typing on I mean you've been using the lap the touchpad for too long and you've been uh, using the your uh, your hands and your you bit tired you want to use the keyboard you can also plug that into your keyboard and mouse so if you have a, a keyboard and mouse combo uh, wireless ones as well you can use and in that case I'm going to use basically uh, my uh, wireless and mouse combo and I'm going to plug that into my device so 
as you see I'm just bringing the cable over there and I'm going to just for the sake of it I'm going to plug my device into my laptop because I think that device doesn't have that much battery so uh, quickly just to show you now I'm using the the mouse and you can see now that there's a little cursor showing up so I can I can move from one screen to another I can um, open the tabs and all this by moving the mouse all right so I can go to a browser and and, and type something uh, so let me show you quickly if I go here and search for my name Nemo Cope which is not really my name but the company or whatever I'm just known as on the internet so uh, you will find there uh, my uh, Twitter account and uh, you know feel free to follow me if you want to uh, that's it guys so thank you very much for watching so don't don't forget to subscribe and don't forget the cables that you need I will if you need uh, let me know uh, comment below and I will let you know the exact cables that I have so you guys can get the same and this device is pretty neat if you want to get it uh, as a portable as possible with the touchpad it's very useful it's only double uh, two double A's batteries in there so I don't know how long they're gonna last but could probably last for a movie at least or more uh, so this is the devices that I've been using for this test uh, the 32 gigabyte USB hard drives and the scan this 8 gigabyte hard drive and these cablings and the HP touchpad thank you very much please subscribe and enjoy